Good morning. Happy Sunday from Wisconsin. And I'm just gonna say, I think that this is going to be the warmest part of today. I'm looking ahead. <laughs> so I'm out here, I, I ran and was doing some prayer and I heard a message and I wanted to share my own journey through maybe in hopes that you might need to hear this today. Somebody else might need to know that they're not alone in 2020 and trying to find a better way through. And for me, in finding pockets of ways to strengthen myself, I start my day in prayer and gratitude and meditation. And I'm working through the 40 days of joy right now, which is really helping me just get really clear on who do I want to become in this season. And it's really helping me to take ownership of my own life and my destination and how I want to show up for myself, for my husband, for my family, for my grandkids, for anyone who were to come in contact with me. And some things that I do besides the prayer is I'm learning to eat nutritious, balanced meals. I'm learning that hydration and keeping my body well. I'm learning that this art of healthy motion is required if I want to continue to fuel my whole entire being, the all of me. I'm taking in and reading spiritual or personal development or growth things to feed my mind making me aware and just giving me options because we can sit and stew in our poo and feel sorry. And I don't know about you, but we have two choices. And one of them is to use this as an opportunity to grow and become better or the other one is to diminish and I won't call it die, but internal, you become a shell of who you once were. If we allow the negativity and the uh, and the poo to lead our life. Things that I am doing to help me persevere is finding laughter and joy and silly. And so yesterday, we went and got a Christmas tree. We never do that in November, serious, ever. I don't think ever that we've done this, but we decorated with Bianca and letting her do it, setting up the train, setting up the Christmas stuff. It felt kind of weird in November when it was like almost 50 degree day. And then we went for a walk along the river and she found a patch of sand and she said, can I take my shoes off? The sand looks warm. And so she did. And she touched her toe into the river in November, the end of November. But part of this is stopping. This has given us opportunity to stop, to pause, to take in. And we were giggling because we kept wanting to say, no, stop, because <laughs> we're grandparents. And I'm like, oh, God, your mom's going to be so mad, right? And so my, my grandma brain is, but my personal growth brain is saying, watch her discover. Watch her look for the opportunity. Watch her look at her surroundings and find good. She doesn't know the stress and the, I can't and the, all that stuff that we 
learn as we get older or that life throws at us, right? So she's taking on these things from a different perspective and a different mind. And I'm gonna tell you today, as I'm walking and doing my gratefulness, I'm thinking about the special and precious memories that are coming because of the pause. And I'm finding that we are creating opportunities to laugh and giggle and make fun of the circumstance instead of always being heavy, but to look for opportunities to discover something new. And so today as I'm praying about just how yesterday went and we stopped at the end of the day, the little ice cream store in Fountain City was open. So we went and treated our granddaughter to vanilla <laughs> ice cream. That was her choice. But in November, at the park, along the river, in the river, in the sand, experiencing life from a place of gratitude and humor and curiosity and exploration and living our best. How do I want to look back at 2020? How do you want to look back at 2020? And what kind of memories do you want your family to go? I remember when. <laughs> I remember mom when you did that. Because I'll tell you, there are some really unholy moments and my kids remember where I wasn't in control of my emotions and my mind and how I, how I was showing up. I didn't have some of these skills that, I didn't have them, but I'm learning that I have them inside me today and I'm learning to create them and make them habits in my life so that even in hard seasons, my habits are going to be creating, living, smiling, laughing, taking good care of my body and my soul because I know that when I do that, my good days are really, really good. But in the hard seasons, I'm finding ways and opportunities to get through them. We are going to get through this. The question I have is, when you look back at this period, how do you want to remember it? It's my thoughts for as we're starting our Advent season. And so that's a part of the journey for me. And doing spiritual, another spiritual season of Advent remotely, not with my community. So kind of interesting. But I'm going to embrace it and be open and curious. And I'm going to make it the best that I can in 2020. What are you going to do to make 2020 end at the best that you can make it? God bless and have a great day.